I'm Tanaz from Forever Conscious and this is the first energy forecast for the year 2016. Before I get into the weekly energy forecast for the week ahead for February 1st, I just want to talk about a general energetic arc that we're all kind of going to be feeling for the year ahead. 2016 is a year of endings. It's a year of wrapping things up, closing things. It is a time to really hone in on what you've been creating for the last eight or nine years and condense it down to what you really want to take with you into the new cycle. In numerology, 2016 is a nine year. That's two plus zero plus one plus six equals nine. And in numerology, a nine is a sign of endings and just wrapping things up and allowing things to let go and be in the past. This is so we can prepare for a number one year, which will be next year, 2017, which will be the start of a new cycle. So in numerology, we're really getting ready to go into the new, and in order to do that, we need to shed and release the old. Astrologically, this also sort of rings true. This year, we have a little bit of a sluggish year. January and February are beautiful months. They're full of energy. You're going to feel things moving. And then sort of around April... We're going to start to get into a little bit of a sluggish period. You know, we've all heard of Mercury retrograde, but all the other planets are going retrograde all the time. The planets that are closest to the Sun, so that's Mercury, Venus, and Mars, when they go retrograde, we really feel them strongly <clears throat> in our everyday lives. When some of the outer planets, so the planets further away from the Sun, so Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, when they go retrograde, we feel it on more of an internal level. It's more subconscious, and that's why a lot of times we don't really hear about those planets going retrograde. When Mercury, Venus, and Mars go retrograde, however, we really feel it on a day-to-day, -day, everyday level. This year, 2016, we have Mars going retrograde. He only does this about every two years, so it's not very often. Last year we had Venus retrograde, and this year we have Mars retrograde. Mars goes retrograde in April and will continue this way for quite a good chunk of the year, in fact the whole middle portion of the year. Even when he gets out of his retrograde cycle, he's still going to be a little bit sluggish and we're really not going to feel <clears throat> much movement forward until the end of the year. Mars rules action and energy. He gives us all the guts and the desire that we need to go after what it is that we want. And while he's retrograde, so while he's sleeping, we're really not going to have that motivational desire to launch or go after things. In fact, we may feel a little held back. We may feel a little, um, <clears throat> ooh, you know, I can't jump into this just yet. And this is perfect for 2016 because this year is really not about creating a whole lot of new stuff. That's for next year. This year is really about taking what is already on your plate, what's already in front of you, and then navigating, okay, what do I want to bring with me into this new cycle? What do I need to let go? What do I need to clear away? What do I want to take with me into the new year? So this vibration kind of fits perfectly. Doesn't mean you can't start any new things or achieve some of your goals and dreams this year, but maybe just be aware that the idea with this year is just stick with what's on your plate. Stick with already what which is what already on your plate and I feel like you'll get a lot more fulfillment and movement forward with that. In April, actually April is a really big month, we also have the first eclipses. I'll talk more about this um, as they get closer to the time. And these eclipses will um, follow, sort of create an arc up until the end of the year. By the time we get to the end of the year, so I'm talking like September, November, around that time period, we're really going to feel the energy moving again. We're going to feel kick-started, we're going to feel energized, and we're going to be ready to go into 2017. But this middle part of the year is a little bit sluggish, and then we've, from April onwards, we're really <clears throat> going to just be forced to dig up the old and get rid of it. So that's a little overview of 2016. And again, I will be talking more specifically about these events as they get closer to the time. So keep an eye on the foreverconscious.com website. So the energy for this week. February is a beautiful month. I love this week. 
from February 1, we're really going to be feeling a strong pull and desire to just get things done. Maybe this is because subconsciously we know that this year is going to kind of be slow and February is a really action month. But this week, it really is about thinking about what you want to do and what you want to achieve and go out there and do it. Rumi, uh, the great poet, said, if you, and I'm going to paraphrase because I can't exactly remember the exact words, so bear with me. He says, if you go after something with both hands, you'll surely find it. And that's what this week is really about. It's really about putting in 101% of your time and energy into achieving what it is that you want to achieve. Now, be mindful over pursuing goals. I always find goals can be sometimes a little limiting if they're not, if they're not manifested or stated in a clear way. I always feel like it's nice to have some kind of openness towards our goals. I feel like if we really embrace and go after exactly what we want, but keep it a little bit open, we have a better chance at allowing things in from the universe into our vibration. So to cap, recap, I'm sorry, to recap, go after what you want this week with two hands. Really put yourself in it because you're not going to get beautiful energy like this for the whole year. So really take advantage of this week. Figure out what it is that you want to do. Figure out what your direction is for this year and just go ahead and do it. This is the week to put all those plans into action. Um, and then next week, they're going to be nice and amplified by the new moon. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thank you.